Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Simon from Scar Illustration, and I hope you're keeping well. Today I'm gonna to talk about the one thing that makes all the difference with your art, and it's not what you think. Let's dive in. This video is gonna be a little bit different, in that I'm not gonna talk about specific techniques, hacks to improve your workflow, or fundamental artistic skills. But instead, I'm going to talk about the one most important thing you must have to be successful. And that is the love. And by that I mean you have to love what you're doing and creating. Because if you don't bring the love, the excitement and the enthusiasm, then it will show through in your work. Every time. Creativity begins in the mind. As an idea or a concept that you'd like to bring to life. And from there to your hand and finally the canvas. So if there isn't any enthusiasm or excitement in your mind at the start of the process, then you can't really expect the painting to exude that either. The body will always follow the mind. You may have heard that people can tell whether or not an artist was fully engaged when they created a painting. And I totally believe that. Because it's happened to me a few times. For example, I've worked on illustrations in the past that I wasn't really that interested in. The process would be a real slog. I would procrastinate, find excuses not to get on with the painting, and I would have trouble getting into the zone. I would have to literally drag myself over to my desk to work on it, if at all. Once I'd finished the painting, I would feel dissatisfied with the results, almost immediately. And sometimes I would scratch my head and wonder why. My process was the same as usual. Technically, the paintings would be fine, and I made sure that I had all the reference that I needed, except for one vital thing. There was little to no love or life in the painting. And if I put those paintings next to one of my favorite paintings that I poured my heart and soul into, then it became very clear very quickly which one I enjoyed painting more. Because that feeling, that enthusiasm, that love comes through in the work, every single time. There will be times, either as a freelance artist, an aspiring artist or hobbyist, where you'll be asked to paint something that you're less than excited about. And depending on your circumstances, or where you are in your career, You'll either inwardly groan and accept the commission, because you have to, or you'll walk away because you can. So the question is, if you have to create the illustration, how do you instill that feeling into the work? How do you enjoy creating something that you really don't care for? How do you bring the love? And my answer to that is, forget about the subject matter, forget about how much you're getting paid, if you are, forget about the deadline, and concentrate on the basics. The composition, the colors, the flow, the lighting, the shapes. Once you do this and start going through the process, you'll find something that will spark your interest. Maybe it's that dynamic sliver of light, the textures on those mountains, a certain character's pose, how the background and the foreground interact with each other, or working on something that's a weak point in your artistic arsenal. Whatever it is, find it, hone in on it, and use it to fuel that fire of enthusiasm. And once that fire has started, it'll spread throughout the entire painting. And suddenly, you've shifted your mindset from reluctance, despondency, and low energy to excitement, enthusiasm, and high energy. And this will begin to shine through in your painting immediately because you'll be looking at it through fresh eyes seeing things that you'd missed before, and looking forward to expressing what you wanted to in that painting. Some of the most celebrated paintings, and artists for that matter, are not the best technically, or have the most complicated paintings, or have rendered everything perfectly, but they all have that one thing that makes them shine brighter than the rest. 
that one thing that really connects with their audience, and that's the excitement, enthusiasm, and love that the artist brought to the table and we're happy to share with the world. And once you find that, your paintings will begin to improve. Hope this was helpful, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Please consider liking this video and subscribe to my channel. Have a good one, and keep on painting.